I love the Prophet Mormon. Imagine at age 10 from Mormon chapter 1 being recognized as a sober child, quick to observe, was called to be a prophet. At age 14, he sees the Savior Jesus Christ. Does that remind you of anyone else who at age 14 saw the Savior Jesus Christ? Joseph Smith. At age 16, he's called to be the general of the entire country's armies, taking over all of the Nephite forces. Verse 16 of chapter 1, they did willfully rebel against God. Chapter 2, verse 15, they had come out in open rebellion against God. Chapter 2, verse 26, the strength of the Lord was not with us. They no longer had the help of God in fighting them. And after just what seems like a few years, chapter 3, verse 11, Mormons writes, I, Mormon, did utterly refuse from this time forward to be a commander and a leader of this people because of their wickedness and abominations. So after being a general from 16 to, to age 51, if you do the math, for the better part of his life, at age 51, he says, I'm done. I'm out. You, you guys will not repent. I'm done. Now what does he do? He finally starts reading everything that's ever been written by the Nephites. And he condenses and consolidates and writes this incredible book. And then in chapter 5, verse 1, he changes his mind and says, the only chance I have to protect the plates and get them where they need to go is I better be the general again. And he takes over as the general again, and you know the rest of the story. The battles grow and grow and grow until they crescendo at the Battle of the Hill Cumorah. The Nephites have refused to turn back to God, and they are completely destroyed, save for a handful of very strong warriors, including Mormon and his son Moroni. The day after the battle, as Mormon looks out over this blood-soaked battlefield, he says this, the most famous part of his writing from Mormon 6, verse 17. Oh, ye fair ones. How could ye have departed from the ways of the Lord? O oh, ye fair ones. How could you have rejected that Jesus who stood with open arms to receive you? Mormon's lament, his sorrow, is that God would have saved you if you would have turned back to him. Turning back to God is called repenting. Brothers and sisters, that's true for everyone that's hearing this. That's true for everyone we love that's hearing this. It's not too late to turn back. Children that have gone off of the path, brothers who have strayed far away, moms and dads who have forgotten their witness can still repent and turn back. Open arms from Jesus are there to receive us. I love Mormon for his courage. President Hinckley taught us that the word Mormon means more good. I'm proud to be called a Mormon, and I'm trying to be more good and turn to the Savior. I hope each of us will turn to the Savior.